What's going on miners? I'm Chump Change XD. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to mine on any PC in under five minutes. So you can use a laptop, a desktop, old, new, doesn't matter. There's a site called Unminable that is going to allow you guys to achieve Dogecoin, Shiba coin, coins like that that you can see on, say, Coinbase that you don't know how to achieve without purchasing them. So this is a way to do that. It's going to utilize either your CPU or your GPU in these machines and anybody can do it. So I'm going to teach you guys in this video. If this is something you guys are into, let's do it. All right, so let's get right into it. Now, right here on unminable.com, I will leave this website's URL down in the description below. Before we get started, this is going to be for the complete new miner. Now, this website can do manual mining and you can implement some stuff into Hive OS. I do have other videos of that, but if you guys need a full walkthrough, let me know down in the comments below and I can make a video of that stuff as well. This is going to be basically no undervolting, no overclocking, just one click miner status that you download directly from Unminable. Now, let me explain how this site actually works. You have all of these coins to choose from, Baby Doge, Crypto.com, Shiba Inu coin. You have Dogecoin down here, Dogelon Mars. There's a whole bunch of different coins, okay? You guys can choose through the list, pick whichever one you want. Now, the way this works is it actually mines a different algorithm and it gets paid out in whatever coin it mines, okay? They, behind the scenes, go ahead and swap the coins for whatever coin you want to be paid out in so everything is done behind the scenes you don't see none of it all you see is what you want to be paid out in and that's really all you need to know there is no confusion here at all right up here at the downloads tab let's click on that now right here you can download this miner fair warning this miner might flag your antivirus software you have to give it permission so just remember do your own due diligence make sure you're comfortable downloading this 90 percent of the time you're going to be fine Obviously, there's a 10% or whatever that people are trying to be malicious, but this site is pretty trustworthy. So I'm going to show you guys. I will download it on my PC. Now it pops up at the bottom. So now you can see down here, it says zip is dangerous. So Chrome has blocked it. Now you can go to the three dots on the top right and go to downloads. I'm going to show you what happens before you disable your antivirus. So if you click keep dangerous file, which I'm going to do because I know it's okay, you're going to click keep anyways, and then it's going to get blocked again from your antivirus so now i need to go and disable it so what i'm gonna do is open up the virus threat protection settings and as you can see i just shut them all off so that's what i'm gonna do temporarily once you get it downloaded you can turn them right back on so now i'm gonna go back to chrome i'm gonna keep the dangerous file again we're gonna keep it anyways and we're gonna see if it shows up okay so now it wasn't blocked so now I can click show in folder. So as you can see right here, now we have that in our downloads folder. So I'm going to click on it. And this is a zipped file. So you need to click on this and you need to extract all. Now, extracting all might take a minute because there's a lot of miners and a lot of stuff that goes on with this. But I am going to click it. We're going to click extract and show files when complete. Now, here it is. Now, what it says, malicious file. This application may cause damage to your device. Sensitive personal data may also be at risk. So now, I know this looks terrifying, right? This looks like a virus of some sort. 90% of the time, you're going to be fine. Nobody's really giving you a virus on a site like that. But again, do your due diligence. Make sure you guys are comfortable downloading this. Unfortunately, all mining programs are pretty much going to be flagged as a virus it happens to every manual miner you download it's just the way it is it is what it is now i'm going to choose to run anyways and it's going to take a minute to do its thing so now right here once it opens up you can see you either choose your graphics card or your cpu so gpu or cpu and just for this demonstration i guess i'm going to click graphics card so now what you do is scroll through the coins that you want to mine and you can click whatever one you want i'm going to go down to dogecoin all right so now you can see it says right here enter your address so your address is located in a crypto wallet so you're going to need this to be able to mine i suggest you guys use trust wallet so now the wallet i recommend you guys to use on your phone is trust wallet com all right i will leave again a link to this down in the description below but you can search it in the app store google play store 
on your Android, whatever. This is a very versatile wallet. It holds a lot of coins. So I prefer this and it's easy because it's mobile. It's right on your phone. Now, once you download this wallet, you will get a 12 to 15 word seed phrase, I believe it is. Now, those words in those specific orders are the combination to your safe. Do not lose them. Put them somewhere, write them down, print them. Please don't save them on your computer. It's just not smart. Don't snapshot it in your phone. Literally just write it down in a notebook, put it away somewhere safe that you're not going to forget it. That's my suggestion, but you guys do what you will. Download this app. You're going to need it. So once you get this app downloaded, you go and find the coin you're trying to mine and you click on the receiving address to be able to input it into the miner. All right, so now that I have that downloaded onto my mobile device, I am going to paste the receiving address in this spot because obviously you're receiving Dogecoin, you're not sending it. So I just copy and pasted it right there and I'm gonna click start. So now your firewall might pop up and you're gonna have to give it access all right, so that's pretty much it. Now you're up in mining, but there is a few more things I kind of want to go over. So I have a 3090 in here. You guys are not going to have this high a mega hash. I mean, most likely, unless you have that GPU. So now right here in the little advanced settings cogwheel, they show a low, a high, and a custom setting. So now you can decide to change between that. The custom will actually allow you to undervolt and put in your own parameters. That's a little more advanced, so I suggest you guys do a little bit of research for whatever GPU you guys are using, but it is a good thing to be able to undervolt or overclock your GPUs to save a little bit of power because you don't want to just be wasting energy for no reason, especially if you have a high electric bill like myself. So now setting the GPU mining algorithm, they have ETC hash and ETH hash. You can manually change the mining algorithm between ETC hash greater than three gigabytes and ETH hash greater than four gigabytes. So what that means is your GPU inside these PCs or laptops or whatever you're using need to be over X amount of gigabytes to be able to use either one of these algorithms. So hopefully that makes sense. Now you can name your worker name, whatever you want. You can delete this, put in whatever you want and a referral code. I'll show you a sweet trick on this. So now if we go back to unminable and we click on just unminable up at the top, we can scroll down because we're mining Dogecoin. We want to click on Doge. And now we want to come right here to where it says your Doge address. Now we want to paste in that same receiving address that we just pasted inside the miner. So now we're going to hit the search. As you can see, the miner is up and running. You can come over here and go to referral code. Grab your own referral code. Copy it. Now go back to the miner right here. Set referral code and paste it right in there. It's kind of funny, but that actually works. You can literally use your own referral code to get a 0.75% kickback, which is hysterical. So put your own referral code in there. It'll give you a little bit more. And then you can either choose to start mining on app start, or you can just keep it off. I choose to keep it off. I'd rather you guys just manually turn it on when you want, especially if you're CPU mining, because it is going to make your computer literally impossible to use. So we're going to save and restart. And then that referral code will kick in and you're good to go. So now real quick, I just want to demonstrate the CPU mining aspect. So CPUs, obviously you don't have to worry about the gigabytes when it comes to your GPU. So let's click next on that. We already have Dogecoin in there and our wallet address. It apparently just saved it. So we're going to click start. Now, I don't know if it'll stutter a little bit. Yeah, camera's going to start stuttering. So it's going to work and your hash rate will be right down here. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys inside task manager. You can come over here and check your CPU and see that it's actually running. I have an i5 like 10,600 K in here. So this uh, I'm not going to be mining on, but I just wanted to show you guys. That's how you can confirm that the CPU is actually mining. Just control alt delete and go to performance. And there is your CPU. So what do you guys think? If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. I'll get to as many of you as I possibly can. I know this is a straight noobs guide to how to start mining. This will work on, again, any PC, laptop, old, new, doesn't matter. If you guys need any help, just let me know. I'll be glad to help. If you did appreciate this content, please go down here, hit this like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't seen this video or this video, please go check them out and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.